one of the things is I want to throw this to you firstly. So how do you inspire yourself? I'm like, oh, I need to do more of that, which is listening to music. There's not many, really many original thoughts. What you, you get that thought and then you process it through you and it comes out a slightly different way. I get really inspired by seeing other people achieving. So we've got accidental inspiration, song comes on, gets you going, yes. Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast. As always, Jose Neuer is here. Ryan is sadly unavailable this week. He's got some work commitment, so he can't make it, but we are thinking of you, Ryan. Um, how are you doing, Joe, as you take a swig of water? Yeah, I just want to say a big shout out to Ryan. Shame he can't make it because we do love the three. It gives a good dynamic. So, yeah, so um, thoughts with you, Ryan, my friend. Um, we're always thinking of you, and you are a vital member of this team. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, so there you go. And thank there you, you everyone out there. Appreciate everyone listening. Of course, we are on all podcast platforms. You hit that subscribe button. Check us out on YouTube. Just search for Jose Noy Inspiration Nation. And of course, on TikTok, we are live right now as we are recording. Loads of interaction going on. If you want to join us, just follow Joe on TikTok. J Noya underscore inspiration nation and he will keep you posted what's going on and if you enjoy watching people wash up you can enjoy watching Joe wash up during the week when he goes live as well um oh <laughs> Twitter don't be, forget Twitter be, go on. I was gonna yeah, say I at listen to IN listen T O I N he just keeps talking over me you've got no respect for the flow Joe no respect yeah I actually need to put I actually need to apologise for you as well, Nick, last week, because I, I failed to listen to you last week at the end of the podcast. You'd actually given your take on I totally, because you'd done it at the beginning and then you asked us. And I, and I, I just don't care what I say, Joe. It's fine. I, know. TikTok. I was trying to keep an eye on TikTok as well as you. So anyway, um, but yeah, thanks for everybody. Thank you. Um, thank you, Rugby. Apparently you're the biggest fan. I love that. Thank you, Con, for, Con for following. I really appreciate you as well. So there's lots of stuff going on Twitter. On, on, don't do that. TikTok, not Twitter. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> but again, Twitter at listen to I-N, listen T-O-I-N. So Joe, I, um, yep. my subject was last week. Ryan is not here. Yep. So by the process yep. of elimination, you must be up to the plate this week. So what are we yeah, talking I have, about? I have got one. I'm going to, um, do you know what? As Ryan's not here, we need a third person. Okay. Because it's always good with third time. So, tick, so TikTok, you are a th third person. So you ask a decent question. I'll share the question when you're listening to the podcast. If you've got any thoughts around it, pop it on the on the chat, and I'm sure Lee will pick those up, or I will pick them 100%. up. Hundred percent. Involve you in our podcast. So you will, if you do a decent question, you'll get a shout on the podcast. You'll be here forever. So you just download it where Lee said. Um, so we'll just go with that. So it's fantastic. Thank you everybody for joining and liking. Don't keep liking and share this live. Get this out to as many people as possible. Um, Oh my God, can you see the time left? What's going on? How did this happen? I didn't think we had a we're timer to, when it's only two of us in the again. room. I'm going to leave the... Do you want to just go, get, go again? No, it's fine. Ryan will stitch them together. Thanks, Ryan. We'll leave the room and we'll come back All in. Right. TikTok will keep you running. Joe can keep talking yeah. to you. We just need to restart our room. So by the process of elimination, Joe, you are up to the plate this week. So what are we talking about? We are talking about how do we inspire ourselves, as you already know on TikTok. Um, we are doing inspire ourselves. How do we get there? Um, so one of the things is I want to throw this to you firstly. So how do you inspire yourself? Oh, God, that was a short <laughs> intro. You just, you just led me straight into it. I normally switch off for five minutes before you, you do your bit. So as Joe said, so they're listening on TikTok. If you want to join in, if you want to fill in Ryan's shoes because he's not with us this week, Throw in what inspires you. No, how do you inspire yourself, to be more specific? And we will shout it out. Um, mine, I think I talked about, it's probably actually years ago I talked about this now. Loads of great episodes in the archive, inspirationnation.org.uk. But I, I, some, I forget about the way I inspire myself until I do it again. I'm like, oh, I need to do more of that, which is listening to music. And I don't do it enough. But when it's the right stuff, when it's up tempo and it's upbeat, there's a few certain songs that get me going. And it really puts me in this kind of I can do anything mind frame and it really gets me going. And that's that's the first thing that comes to mind. If I really want to get that kind of short term endorphin rush, rush boost of inspiration, um, I kind of gravitate towards films and TV shows that do the same. We talked last week, Joe, didn't we, off air? Hustle, Adam Sandler film on Netflix does that. See, I did a few, again, probably months ago now in the archive episode about McDonald's. I think it's called I'm Loving It. And it wasn't about McDonald's. It was about the film called The Founder 
about the founders of McDonald's, which again, I found really inspiring. So I think it's, I get really inspired by seeing other people achieving, especially I like biographical things. So people who come from nothing, so to speak, and then build something and that, I don't know, that sort of thing really inspires me to not, you know, not necessarily to want to do the same, but, uh, you know, to do something, to leave a legacy, to build build something, to inspire someone else. That's that sort of stuff. So a lot of external media type things of that inspirational area really get me going in a professional way, of course, Joe. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah, I like that because actually a lot of things that you do, actually, that's the same that I do. So music is one that I do. Um, I, I put it on in one. I don't know if it inspires you. It puts me in a better mood. Yeah. Uh, it will just so when I you know get up in the morning, I tend to like do my little video, do a bit of music, and that gets me in the zone for the day. Uh, films for sure definitely get me in the mood. Uh, like Rocky is one of mine. Obviously, the, the Hustle was amazing. Guys, have you checked out the Hustle on TikTok? Cool. Uh, so I definitely recommend it. Um, it's not on TikTok. It's on Netflix, um, Joe. It's on Netflix. That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's on. Sorry, it's on Netflix. Um, but yeah, it's a great, great show. Um, but I want to just give a shout out to Clark. Clark, he said, what's going on with my voice? It's really deep. I don't know what's going on with it, but I have had a bit of a medical issue going on, which I'm probably not going to talk about, but it's actually happening today. I wonder whether that's that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. Um, we'll see. I don't know whether it makes any difference. Let me know. Shout uh, out on um, TikTok to Ryan Boniface8, who asked if I will be his dad. Ryan, I will be your dad every day of the week. <laughs> there you go, Ryan. Uh, it's good to see Ryan. Ryan's actually a third man. He's actually joined us on the old live. It's great. I love that. Shout out yourself, Ryan, on the old TikTok. I love this. This is so good. Um, so, so, Joe, same to yeah, you. And, uh, yeah, so got... carry on. What What is it for you that gets you inspired? So so for me, it's, it's about help and service. Um, and for me, it's having meaning and purpose. And meaning and purpose is being able to help others i really want to help other people um so that's where um i get inspiration from to to, to do that but what i need to do is what i do is i've done this one of my videos where we're about social media is that i always need inspiration in my life that's my core value so i have to look for inspiration whether it be a film whether it be like um individuals like uh i said like i, I follow uh mark drager i think he's so inspiring i've got Evan Carmichael, they're sort of people that you may not know inspiring, but, you know, we've got big inspirations like your Tony Robbins, Mel Robbins. Um, I like the films like Sylvester Sloan's inspiration, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's inspiration. All these people are just so inspiring to me, and that's why I follow them all on my social media. So I always say to people is use your social media, don't let it use you. Use it so you can get inspired when you go on your social media you get something that that fills you up a little bit a bit like music you put on music so make sure you use social media as a tool for you don't let social media use you and there's a lot of things i've talked about with tiktok lives before a lot of the guys on tiktok live will know what i'm talking about um so that's for me service and having a meaning and having a you know like making the bed in the morning you know doing those little things every day um and keeping myself in check so doing a video almost like trying to keep myself inspired by doing the video and saying to myself, these are the things that I need to be doing daily to keep my energy levels up um, and to help people through the experiences, you know, and the thing, the tough things are going through. And I just wanted to reference a book quickly called this, called Marcus Aurelius's Meditations. I'm going to show up TikTok as well. Um, it's a really great book uh, on life. And it's really good. And uh, as I say, I would recommend reading that. And again, I read to inspire myself. So I've read, I'm reading this. I've just finished reading um, Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life. I always have to have something inspirational to read. So you get a, get a flavor for other people's work. Um, Toxic, hello, welcome to the live. Um, thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, follow, share this live, guys. Keep sharing. We're on a journey to 10,000 followers. Don't forget, we, I need you guys. Um, I need you here, all of us, also on our audio listening. We need to get this up further, so please continue to do that. Um, follow, like, and share everything of the content. would be fantastic. There you go, Lee. That was my, my take, really. That's really what, in a nutshell, has anything come out of that a lot for you? Um, it's interesting you said on the reading, because I, you know, I... I say I like reading. I've not done it for ages, but it's more a time thing. But I normally, that's more of a relaxation thing. So I like 
fiction, not very highbrow, like a bit of Stephen King or something like that. Um, whereas I'm not so much into the motivational books, but again, movies, audio books, musically, so that sort of thing is really where I get it from. And social media, I suppose. So there's a lot out there on, you know, whatever platform you're on, where you deem inspiring stuff. We've referenced it a few times. You have to be careful to filter out the toxic stuff. And toxic doesn't just have to be negativity. Toxic could be things, you know, glorifying working yourself into the ground or setting expectations that, you know, your inspiration is to be what someone else sees of you. And it's, you know, you have to be careful to moderate what you see, but there's a lot of really good stuff out there, I think, that can point you in the right direction. But mine's more that that sort of in almost like someone's talking to me in one way or another rather than the reading bit so it's just interesting how people take different things in in different ways um from how they how they look at it and i so say mine's definitely that more feel room. and i suppose it works in two ways because I, I get it where it's almost unexpected where something out of the blue will inspire me and i'll be like oh yes let's go or other times i might be seeking it i might want to do something in a certain area and i'll go looking for content that supports that and it's all it's almost like researching but it's researching to get inspiration oh yeah i like that I like that a lot. Go on, you're going to say something else. And it's, I think it's just that difference. Sometimes it's unintentional. It's almost that inspiration. You run with it. I imagine, like, not that I'm an artist. I'm not very creative in that way. But, like, an artist gets inspired and has to do something out of the blue. Or, like I said, that intentional bit that you want to do something and you research, and that research gets your mind going, and it it runs away. And I think it it definitely falls into those two, two different pots. But it's like I said, the music one always catches me by surprise because I never do it through planning, but I normally get a big boost of energy afterwards. Yeah, I, I really like that whole thing. I think that's a new thing. Research inspiration. I like that. Um because we can let's let's add, let's layer right. one of your words into that, Joe. Let's call it intentional inspiration. Intentional inspiration, yeah. And and not even this morning, I was it this morning or the other morning, I actually put on Twitter, I put what's your intention for today? You know, and my intention. What's my intention? I want to like help other people. That is my intention by sharing the stories and what Lee said about like, you know, if we are going to inspire, can we, can we get ideas from other people that we can actually use? And, you know, and, and actually when we think about it, a lot of stuff we get, there's not many, really many original thoughts. What you, you get that thought and then you process it through you and it comes out a slightly different way. Um, so I think the researching of inspiration is so, so important. I think, um, you know, I mean, for me, you know, when I wasn't very well with my depression and stuff like that, I mean, I read books. That was my go-to. My mum bought me my first book, and I think I've referenced the podcast before. It was a, a book by Susan Jeffers called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. And I read that book, and I was always a big reader when I was, when I was little, but I did take a massive break from it as I went into work, and I got back into it, obviously, through my self-development. Um, but that's definitely one. And actually, on my lives, on my TikTok lives, I actually said, well, I don't read books. I don't like reading books. So they're a bit like you, Lee. So I've always said about an audio book. And actually, on YouTube now, you can actually – there's a book called The Untethered Soul, which is an audio book, which they put on YouTube. So you can listen to that even for free. Um, so so much free content. Um, so, you know, it's so it's so important. Absolutely. Absolutely. So important. There you go. So there is so much content out there. And I think the problem we have is that, you know, I, you know, even when I'm doing a TikTok, sometimes I get TikToks and there's so much negativity on TikTok. Um, that I want to create a positive space on TikTok for you guys to come in on TikTok and here on, you know, on social to create like a positive space on social. You can come and talk about challenges, but also talk about what, what you've won at. And I think, you know, how do we inspire ourselves again? I think you can, like we talked about almost the other, other week about when I talked about strengths, you know, what are the good things that you've done today that you can celebrate? You know, you know, did you did you get up and do something? You know, you know, if you're really depressed, it maybe you're in a struggle to get out of bed. The fact that you got out of bed and did something that's a win. So all those small wins. So again, those sorts of things can inspire ourselves. Because I think what's really important about inspiration is that no one can do it for you. No one can inspire you. You have to do the work. So you might read something, you might watch something, but then you have to do like, really, you said that you go, you do some research and you make you do something. You'd go off and do something as a result, like whatever it is. And I think that's really important that we have to get up and do some action. So we get the pathway to go, oh, I'm doing something. I'm not just reading it and feeling inspired, but what are you going to do afterwards? What's the action you're going to take to continue that feeling of inspiration? So that's my that's my little two penny for a bit of a rant, actually. A bit of a rant there. <laughs> I'd the, call it a soapbox phone. moment, Joe. I like it though, because we've got three there. So we've got accidental inspiration, song comes on, gets you going, yes, or you watch a film, you didn't realise it was going to hit you in that way, boom, you're out there. You've got your intentional inspiration. I want to blah 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 
I'm going to go and research. Blah, blah, blah. Gets your brain going. Or number three, self inspiration. So once you've actually started to follow through on your actions and you get, I've done it, I've done this step, I've done this step. And like you said, it could be big towards your goal, it could be really small, it could be something you've been putting off doing in the house for ages and you need to get done. Um, any of those things. And like you said, that consciousness to reflect on it and to feel good from it. And I think there's there's three three core things that I think could apply to anybody. And you can really, you know, like with a lot of our things and their concepts, you can be conscious of it and you can harness it. That's how you really push on your own, your own progress and your self-development. I love it, Joe. This is a great subject. I think you've picked out the three takeaways already. I don't think. Oh, look at that. I've done the takeaways in advance. One for you, one for me, and one for Ryan, who's twi- uh, Ryan, TikTok yeah. following us. Yeah. Have you? So, any guys on TikTok, let me know if you, you take any takeaways from today's, today's discussion. Thank you, Kalawelski, for following. You have now got a shout out on the podcast. If you download the podcast, you will, see, you will hear your name on the podcast. So, there you go. If you follow, you will get a shout out on the podcast. So, there you go. Our journey to 10,000 followers. So, I appreciate that. Have you got to do any shilling, Lou? I have always got to do some shilling. So if you like what you're hearing, head over to inspirationnation.org.uk. That's where you can support us. All the archives of where to listen to everything. The, my God, two and a half plus, three years. Are we three years in? We're well done three it's years three in, aren't we? Now. Three and a half years of content is on there. Inspiration Nation merch is there. You can see behind me this wonderful hoodie. Got my mug somewhere as well. Face masks are in there. T-shirts a lot. Um... Sign up for Joe's newsletter, coaching service on there, inspirationnation.org.uk. That's how you can support us. And don't forget to check out Joe. Just put Jose Noy Inspiration Nation into Google, whatever platform you are on. He is on there. TikTok especially at the moment, every day. We love the interaction. As Joe said, building a positive space, and he does really well with that. So J Noya underscore Inspiration Nation. And of course, the classic Twitter at listen to IN, listen T O I N. Give us a follow. Um, share some of our content, let people know what's going on. Telling friends and family is the best thing you can do. If you like this, get them involved. That helps with the growth of the podcast. I think that's all the shilling that's in me for today, Joe. Love this that. has been I a, love the a... shilling in the gate. So Lee always puts on there like a little, little sort of nice little banner actually of what the episode's about. So share that banner. I try and do a little TikTok out of that actually. I put the banners together. I like them. I, I like what TikTok. you do with them. Yeah, I'm getting creative with that. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. See, it's all about experimentation, right? <laughs> But we are here each and every week. Again, all podcast platforms, YouTube, just hit subscribe, leave a like, leave a review. 30 dose, 30 minute dose, 30 dose, 30 minute dose of inspiration each week. And then if you need more in your life, just follow Joe on social media. And of course, TikTok, we record on a Tuesday, sometimes a Wednesday, mostly a Tuesday. Joe will sign post it on TikTok. Just give him a follow and you can interact with us directly, just like people have today. The likes have been flooding in, Joe. I love to see it. Great stuff. Yeah, um, and as I say, on the TikTok, if you're on the TikTok, don't forget to go to the link in the bio because that's the link to everything here. So if you're on TikTok, go to the link in the bio. All the links are there to all the Inspiration Nation stuff. So it would really help. Yeah. Anyway, Excellent. Good chat, Joe, this week. Loved it. I am. This is, you know, above top of that list, I'm just going to say this. This conversation is what I do to get inspired and we'll be back again next week with more of it. So I will count us down. Three, okay. two, one. Inspiration Nation. Inspiration Nation. Catch you guys later. Catch you guys later. There you go. So I want to know now what's your biggest takeaway. Don't forget to hashtag it with Inspiration Nation in the comments below and make sure you commit to action. Thank you for checking out. So you can catch all our other Inspiration Nation podcast episodes right over here. So go check them out. Also, don't forget to subscribe because that will tell you when your next video goes live by you hitting that amazing bell. So until next time, Inspiration Nation, and I'll see you right over there.